Well, hello. Welcome to Green Ice Reviews. Today, working on the Wildcat. Got some mirrors to put on, some side mirrors. So let's get to it. So I picked up some Copeland Universal UTV side mirrors. My buddy has a pair of some similar on his Wildcat, but these ones are kind of cool because they have a two-piece mirror instead of just a one-piece. So see how that works out on here. So, all right, let's open them up and see what we got. All right. Ooh, fancy. I wonder. Oh, it doesn't look like you can move. Yeah, you can't move the mirrors independently. Still kind of cool though. So, got one on there. Used the inch and seven eighths brackets. And then one piece of rubber. The littlest piece. Now, what's really neat about these is since this bar is crooked, obviously you don't want the mirror looking down. So, just loosen up this nut. There we go. So probably right there. And then we just tighten it back up. There. And I believe it's in its oh uh, you can adjust the tension on these too. I don't have it tight yet. I left it loose in case I want to move it up or down. But I wanted to get them both kinda on there before I do that. So you get the inch and seven five, inch three quarters, and then you get a two inch one for a two inch tube, and then you get a couple different options for these, which is pretty cool. And then you also get some metal brackets in case you get something else different and you need to clamp it on there with those. Go we'll get this one on the other side. And we have four bolts and four nuts. And these are Allen heads. And then you use a nice stop lock nuts. Let's get over there and get those that side on. And then what I like too about this is they, these this one side is different from this side. You get it round and then you get the side for the nut. So you don't don't need a wrench to hold it once you get it started. I like that. There's that spring in the bottom down there, so you can adjust the tension on the mirror. And then that also helps with the anti-vibration feature, so they're not vibrating around so much. And I want the nuts on the bottom, so it just looks a little cleaner. So, putting it on this way, first this way. A little tricky <clears throat> to get the bolt in the in the hole on the clamp. There, it's one. Let me get that other one started so it doesn't pop out on me again. There. Just a little tricky. Not bad. And it's just four millimeter. Get it started, right? There we go. Put 
10 millimeter. Loosen this thing way up. I don't want to loosen it all the way up to where it falls off. There, it looks about right. There, now I'm going to go and jump in and see how they are. They look pretty good overall. And this one, like I was kind of figuring this, this handle is going to be in the way. But that's okay. I don't mind if I have to move my head a little bit. Just kind of to see. So, yeah. I like them. And then you can just move it how you want to. So I like the angle a little bit better now. I did play with the adjustment here to see this way, but it was too much for the next notch. So what I did was I just loosened these back up and I just spun it up a little bit and now that's like almost perfect. I like it. Much better in the visibility on this one. This, this is not part of the kit. This is just the one I had. So when we go out riding next, I'll probably make a little uh, pie comment on them just to see on uh, how they're holding up and how they're doing. They should hold up pretty well. The ones my buddy bought a while back have been pretty good. No issues with those. So. Alright, well thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.